All right, Jessica, I'm coming your way first because as an executive producer on the project, I was wondering if you could give us a little insight into some of the early conversations, figuring out the style and tone for the show. Because I feel like I've seen a lot of shows recently that adapt true tragedies and they all make very distinct choices in that department. So what was it like figuring out what the best way to tell this story was? I ha- I would love to say that that I could take a lot of credit for that, but I, I came onto the project um, after Robin, our creator, writer, and Nick um, had written the first few episodes and had a real vision for this. And Hulu as a great partner shared that vision. So we were all on board and collaborating very, um, very much in parallel and aligned from the very beginning. Um, but I think the real key that we wanted to create was this, you know, this deep sense of, you know, suburban mundanity where you just, you watch these lives playing out and it's these simple things of a baby crying and waking up their parents in the morning. And then mom is grabbing the baby and dad is just hanging with the dogs and having breakfast. And you're seeing the difference of these lives that are, that are coexisting and yet so, you know, million miles apart, um, So that feeling, that sort of suburban dread, that kind of eeriness, that authentic looking uh, 1980s uh, palette and um, color scheme, all of those things were highly important. And the the whole team was on board from the very beginning. I think also Michael Appendahl, who directed the pilot, is so great at setting a tone that that sustains he directed the pilot also for castle rock a show i did a few years ago and i just trust him and love him so much and i i really think he did an incredible job of setting up the world and showing how much breathing room there was going to be in the show like within the performances um so he's i just think he's the best absolutely you guys have a great team here i'm a little obsessed with nick's work because i'm a massive channel zero fan and i think he should still be making that show if he wanted to right now but (laughs) for another time. Uh, Melanie, I'm not sure if these timelines actually match up here or if it's release dates screwing with my brain, but I remember you telling me that you almost passed on Yellow Jackets when that came around. So did this project come your way at a similar time? And if it did, what made you think this one was worth the commitment as well? Um, Yeah, I I just was so exhausted when I got offered Yellow Jackets. I couldn't imagine working. I was in the middle of working. It was really hard with an infant. Um, I'm happy that I did not pass on it. This project came to me what like near the end of the first season of Yellow Jackets. So I was shooting. Um, the great thing about Yellow Jackets is half of the episode is with the younger cast and half of it's with us. So we just don't get too tired. You get a week off every single episode. It's a dream job in literally every way. Uh, but this came my way and I just, I loved it. Like I didn't think twice. I love the scripts. I'm a huge fan of Jess and I've always wanted to work with her. And then Michael, like a, a director I trust is is huge for me. And I knew that I already loved him. And then I had a Zoom with him and Robin and Nick. And I just, everyone was just great. It, I just, it was a very easy, easy thing to say yes to. I can understand that to make Jessica blush a little here. So I get really, really excited when I see someone with a big platform and a significant amount of weight in this industry, like one delivering great work on screen, but also using that as a producer to help get the projects made that they want to see get made. So what was it like working with her, not only as a scene partner, but also as a leader on this set? Oh, I just, I love Jess so much. And she just did not disappoint me. Every moment as an actor, sorry to talk about you as though you're not here, but- No, no, please. please. (laughs) She's so (laughs) present and so surprising. And it was something I knew would happen because I've been seeing that in her work throughout the years. But just to watch this performance unfolding before my eyes, like honestly, when I was watching the episodes finally, I was watching it as a fan of hers. Like I was so excited to see the scenes I wasn't there for, to see her at home with Tim, to see her with Pablo. I I just think she's an absolute genius and a wonderful leader, like taking care of everybody on set, just a, just a really, really kind, good person. Um, always like the funniest one on the group text. <laughs> Tim is probably- Not true, not true, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> But Thank just like you. just making everybody feel welcome, making everybody feel appreciated. 
um, and just so fun to work with. I just wanted, I just want to do it more. I hope we get to one day. That's why I asked that question. I always like hearing about forces like that in this industry. Mm -hmm.